today I'm going to share with you some ideas about um, how to improve the presentation of the contents for your Canvas course shell. I'm assuming here that you are using Canvas and also that you are putting all the materials for your class into modules. This idea of what I'm telling you today for this video came from the fact that I think I made the mistake of just including all these materials into my Canvas modules. So now you can imagine that after weeks of classes, the material that I accumulated on my pages were just a lot. So it's it was not really tractable. It was difficult to manage at some point for students whenever they have to go on and try to find the specific the specific file that they wanted to look at. But just to give you an idea how overwhelming these can be if you have a lot of these uh, tabs. So first suggestion, do not just use modules uh, in Canvas as a repository for all the files that you want to share with your students. Now, try to use something different. In this case, my suggestion will be to create pages. So if you go to in your Canvas course shell, you're going to find these uh, one tab that says pages. So whenever you go here, in principle, you come to a a website in, in within your canvas that contains all the pages that are created for your canvas core shell at the top of the page you will have this blue button on the right corner that says add a page plus page right so when you click on that one this is going to take you to the rich content editor and then from there this rich content editor think about it like a text editor that it's going to allow you to create content and to format it in a way that now you're going to help your readers navigate through the materials you're presenting. So we're going to try to get away from just a listing of all the files that you want your students to look at into something more like this, right? So you still have modules, you're still using these accordion uh, menus, uh, but now look at how many I have now. This is, that's all I have for my class. It's much more contained. And now this is much, much simpler to navigate. Basically, pages are websites that you create within your Canvas core shell that allows you to put some materials all together, cluster that material. Now, again, this one is created for each of the chapters in, in the book. And now if you were to click on week number three or week number four, you will be uh, directed to pages that contain information related to that particular topic. You can see now that I start to separate those materials into this, their own containers, but outside of the module section. Uh, I think this is beneficial because you have more control over the way that you present, uh, visually speaking, every single one of the elements that you're posting. Now I can create it and separate them by the type of material that I'm showing them, like for example, slides or files. I can also name it, um, by sections i create my own sections that are called lecture presentations or handouts another thing that it's cool is that you have the chance to allow them to have a preview of the file that you are putting in uh, within the same page so they don't have to leave to another tab or to another window they can just immediately open a preview of the file that you uploaded now if they decide they can also download it by clicking on the link Uh, that happens with all those files. You can also implement these other elements like uh, images or even videos like I have in this other page. Again, a creation of links that takes you to a different external website or in the case of videos, for example, you can embed them on the same page. They're going to start playing in this one page without them having to leave to a different resource. So that's for now, uh, my idea of to move away from using just Canvas as a repository of a um, list of files that your students have to go walk through into more contained menus that direct them to pages where they can actually immediately get access to those files and where you have more control over the way that you want to present them help them with visual clues that um, allow them to really look at the material that you want to instead of just getting frustrated with uh, how to navigate through your Canvas core shell. 
I hope this is useful. In my next video, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to go about formatting these pages and helps your students get the most out of them. I'll see you next.